biting like a blue fish or something. Ah, uh, another sand shark. Oh man, it's a big sand shark. With a pain in the butt. <laughs> what the heck you think he is? You think he a mako shark? Oh, I don't, dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, I don't care about the size, because it's the wiggle. It hit like a keeper. That bad boy slammed it. Yeah. That bad boy slammed it. Come on, baby. Huh? Oh, oh yeah. He pulled some drag. Come on. Mike got his game face on now with this one. <laughs> Come on. I might have to go get the net. Something going on. Come on, baby. He ain't let loose. Hoping ain't no doggone cow nose ray. He's coming up. Feel like he's coming up. Feel like he's coming up. You recording it? Yeah, I got some on there. He hit like a monster. So I shouldn't be recording mine? Yeah, brother. Record it? Yeah. Oh! oh whoo! Thought I lost it. <laughs> Thought I lost it. Dude, get the net no matter what. Let's just get the net. Alright. Come on, baby. Gotta be a keeper. Coming up. He did hit like a freight train. Oh, he's pulling drag, man. He grabbed it. Oh, yeah, that's a fluke. Oh, yeah, maybe, yeah. Woo! Let's go, baby. Come on. That's going to be close. Come on, baby. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Come on. No, he was grabbing. I can't, he just kept grabbing it, grabbing it. Yeah. Woo! Goodness. Whoa! Dude, I think he's about almost 20. <laughs> That's a big boy. 20 inches, man. Straight up 20. So this morning, I am going to do Catch and Cook Breakfast Edition. This here is a fluke I caught yesterday afternoon. This fluke was 20 inches long, which made it a legal fluke in New Jersey. They have to be 18 inches or greater. I actually caught three fluke, which is the amount you can catch in New Jersey legally. And I thought I'll take this one and do a catch and cook.
So this is again the fluke that I caught. Some people call it summer flounder. Some people just call it a flounder. Um, literally, I mean, we call it a fluke or you know a summer flounder. And this is what I'm going to do our catch and cook breakfast edition with. I'm going to fillet it up, get it all prepared, and actually show you uh, what else I'm going to cook with it for the breakfast. So this is the fillet I took off of the first side of it. And I guess if you're familiar, you know that the fluke has a really nice texture to it, a nice color, and a nice flavor. I'm going to do the other side. It's a pretty big fish, so I don't think I'm gonna eat it all today, but I'm gonna do the other side and we'll, we'll go from there. If you're not familiar with fluke, this is what the other side looks like. It's a flat fish, two eyes on one side of its head, and the belly is white. All right, so we got the fillet done. Um, I only did half because it's a pretty big fish and I don't need all that for breakfast. So I'm gonna prep the flounder filet first. And what I do is I just get some nice salt, put some salt on the flounder filet, some crushed black pepper with a little bit of crushed red pepper. I actually like the uh, flounder a little bit spicy. And we do both sides of it. Again, salting it up. Some black pepper. And some crushed red pepper. So the salt I use is a Mediterranean uh, all natural sea salt, and that's a tri-color black pepper. Next, I actually cover the flounder in flour. So I lightly cover the flounder filet in flour. Make sure you get it nice and packed on there. And it's just a light covering on the flour on both sides. too heavy with the flour, just give it a nice coating. There we go. So I get that nice coating on there. I actually put the last bit of seasoning on there, rub that all in there. And then I actually Put it in the freezer for about 15 20 minutes so while the fish is in the freezer for a little while i will prepare the potatoes i'm going to make a home style potato with some russet potatoes some sweet mini peppers and red onion and i'm going to make these home style potatoes in a skillet All right, so I cut up the potatoes and the peppers and the onions all into like one inch pieces and I'm gonna rinse that off and get the pan ready. So uh, these are the seasonings I actually will be using. I have a mixture of sea salt, Mediterranean sea salt with the crushed tricolor pepper, uh, cilantro, Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute, an herb of province. This is a mixture of herbs. It has a lot of different uh, herbs in it and it really gives it a good fragrance. And for seasoning up the pan, I use an extra virgin olive oil. I use the Pam olive oil first to spray the pan, help keep it from sticking so much. And I use the butter.
So now the onions and the sweet peppers and the potatoes pretty much caramelized. And it's ready to serve. Best way to tell when it's done is by sticking a fork in the potatoes and just make sure the potatoes are soft all the way through. So it's been about 20 minutes. The potatoes are done and the fish is out of the freezer and ready to go into the frying pan. When you put that fish in that frying pan, I always like to give it shakes just so that it doesn't stick when it first goes in there. Keep that fish from sticking to that skillet. And the reason I put that uh, filet in the freezer for about 20 minutes is to keep it from curling up. Fresh fish, for some reason, sometimes it tends to want to curl. I've noticed when I put it in the freezer for a short period of the time, it stays flat. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here you have it. The Dreaded Fisherman's Catch and Cook Breakfast Edition. I made some uh, scrambled eggs with some mushrooms mixed in with it to go along with the fish and the potatoes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And hope to see you again soon with another Catch and Cook. I'm about to